Hi, I am Megan Wenzel, and I played 2015 to 2019 for softball, and I was a pitcher and an outfielder. And I'm Mariah Luna, and I also played from 2015 to 2019, and I played pretty much everywhere, um, catcher, first base, and outfield. So we're going to kind of talk about um, some questions. We'll bounce back and forth. The first one we're going to start off with is Mariah. What are you currently up to and where do you currently live? So currently, um, my husband and I live in Rolla, North Dakota. Um, I am teaching first grade at the St. John Public School, and I'm also starting first year um, softball in St. John. So they've never had softball. So I'm going to be the head coach and starting that program. Awesome. I am currently still in Jamestown, North Dakota. I am a teacher at the middle school. I'm in my third year, and I also coach high school softball. Um, Mariah, what were you looking for in the recruiting process when you were looking to be a Jimmy? You know, growing up in Devil's Lake, I knew that I didn't want to go to a big, huge university. I wanted somewhere where the class sizes weren't going to be super big, but I'd be able to make a connection with the professors and they'd actually know who I was. And Jamestown was that for me. You know, it seems like it's a bigger campus, but it's actually, you know, really close. You really got to know your professors. And that's really what I was looking for, a small, close um university. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about kind of what made UJ softball different. And I truly think that it came down to the coaches and even just the atmosphere. The coaches are there for you on and off the field, not just in practices. And that just transfers into the outside world. Um, Coach Gull is always there for you no matter what. We had some girls that had car starting issues in the, in the winter at six in the morning. And Coach Gull was there with no doubt in his mind. So I say that coaches really just make the softball program stand apart from everybody else. Um, what part of the Jimmy softball culture connected you or connected with you most? Um, I would say the part that connected with me the most is that as a team, we were a family, you know, that family atmosphere, you really got to know those girls um, and, you know, we just became really good friends and had a lot of great memories, but that family atmosphere, that family connection is really what, um, stood out for me for the softball team. And to kind of build off that, Mariah and I were roommates for three years, coach golf paired us together and that, I mean, just the friendships that you make in softball really continue on throughout your life as well. We still stay connected today along with a bunch of other people on our team as well. Mm -hmm. So we're going to kind of talk about um, how we applied what we learned in Jimmy softball to the real world. One of the things Coach Gall stresses is being able to control what you can control. And we both apply that into our jobs today, especially just the aspect of you're not always going to get along with who you work with and just making sure that you're controlling what you can and those outside um, stresses aren't worth, worth it. Um, and then you're going to talk about values. Yeah, so... You know, learning from uh, the Jamestown softball, I really took it in. So two years previously, I was in rugby and I had started a softball program there. And, you know, really instilling the values that Coach Gall taught us to my girls on my team was huge. You know, so I really wanted to mirror what Coach Gall was instilling in us to instilling in my girls in high school. And I think that's something um, that has really helped. And I think that it's awesome to see the girls make that connection and really um, seeing those values that I learned and I'm passing them on to the next generation of softball players. And the last question we're both going to talk about is how we think we've changed from the start of Jimmy softball until where we're at today. Um, and for me, I just think that I grew as an individual, not only with my teammates, but by myself, because in college, you're kind of put out there in this whole new world and you're putting your trust in your coaches and in your teammates to kind of help you along the way. And I just think with that and applying that into my job and coaching has really made me change a lot. Yeah. And to big piggyback off what Megan said, I agree with that. You know, college is where you really find yourself and who you actually are as an individual now that you're out in the wor real world by yourself, you know, and learning things. And I think, you know, you get put into situations you aren't necessarily comfortable with and you go kind of outside of the box. And I think that being able to go out of your comfort zone really had helped um, both for my teaching career and then also in coaching, you know, being 
pushed into or given the head coach job with really out with really no experience is huge and being able to take that on. So definitely learned a lot about myself and as an individual and a coach. So.